Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of Leap Code. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? No! Oh my god! No! Okay, let's take a look at the newest question. Given a matrix, each row of the matrix is in an increasing order. Find one number from each row to form an array. Pick the case smallest array sum from all the possible arrays. In this case, k is equal to 2. The second smallest array sum is 19. Yeah, what's that from? Why the ah? Uh, why the cry now? This is definitely not an easy question, but to begin with, we can always have a brute force solution, which is find all the possible arrays and then sort and then find the k smallest array sum. But just three shots from kitchen gun, <laughs> and it sparkles like new. Uh, we will have a helper function that recursively returns you all the possible arrays from the sub matrix. We will divide the matrix into two parts, the first row and the rest of the matrix. For the rest of the matrix, we can find all the possible array sums using this helper function. For number in the first row of the matrix, we will have a new array sum, which is S plus N. So this is going to be all the array sum for the matrix. That's it. Nice and hot. And of course, we will need to have a root case, which is if the length of the matrix is equal to one. Return matrix zero. Okay, so we get all the array sums from the matrix, and all we need to do is to return the case. Okay, let's see if this compiles. Denied. And let's see if this works for all the test cases. Inevitable. And this is pretty as expected, since the time complexity for this algorithm is pretty bad. Assuming we have m rows and columns, we will have in total m to the n times of the array sums possible. And then we need to sort that, which in the best case is going to be m to the n times times log m to the n times. So instead of return all the possible results from the sub matrix, we only need to return the top k smallest result sum. If we need to find the top k smallest array sum from the whole matrix, all we need to do is to find the top k smallest sum from the sub matrix and plus that sum with the first number in our current row. So here, instead of return the whole thing, we can do a sort earlier and we pick the top k. And this helper function basically returns us the top k smallest, and we don't need a sort again. Okay. So if we have k as a parameter, uh, every time we will get m times k result, and we will need to sort that. So we will need to do the sort m times since we need to go through the recursive call again and again by extracting one row at a time. Hold up, wait a minute. If the k is close to m to the n times, this will become m to the n plus one times, m to the n plus one. So m to the n plus one doesn't really make any difference here. We'll just make it m to the n times n times m, so it doesn't really make any difference in the worst case. 